Brilliant. So let's plunge into another big part of feedback. You would only know if your feedback is effective if you, if you start with a certain goal in mind. Without a goal, feedback doesn't exist. All right. So I was giving you the example, the simple example of somebody cleaning the room. If you don't have a goal of how that room should look later, then what, what is your feedback based on? If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to run a marathon, you've got to have a goal saying, I've got to finish a 10K run. I've got to finish a full marathon. I've got to make sure that my customer satisfaction score or rating goes from 89 to 95 or 99. You've got to have a clear goal. Without that goal, I think there really is no feedback. And uh, I'd also like to remind you, you know, concepts, while I might not go into this, this is not meant to be purely a goal setting session, but concepts like SMART, making your goals specific, measurable. How do you know that you hit the spot? What specifically do you want to achieve? That's the SM of SMART. A, achievable. It's got to be something that you can achieve. It can't be something which is not humanly possible, which is you can't say, I'm, I'm 30 years old and now I have to become six feet, three inches and I have to grow by six more inches. You know, that's just not going to happen. So it has to be achievable. It has to be relevant. That means it has to make sense to you and it has to be time bound. By when? There has to be a specific deadline. And by deadline, I don't mean a year, a month. I mean a specific date, at least a specific day. So you've got to say, I'm going to get a PhD by the 3rd of January, 2020. So it's got to be that specific. The other thing which you could keep in mind is this whole idea of uh, BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goals. And uh, both SMART and BHAG are attributed to different people who've done it. You can look them up on the internet. But uh, make sure you have a goal which, which is really big and exciting. And I think that's going to make that whole feedback process more, more interesting, more, you know, add more punch to it. So if you have a goal saying, well, I've got to go walking, I've got to start walking at least one time a month. You know, that's not motivating enough, at least for me. <laughs> you know, that seems like that seems like a no brainer. So. Let it be something, let your goal be something where you push yourself to the next level, where when you wake up in the morning, you say, wow, because I have this goal that is so interesting, exciting and engaging, I feel like jumping out of bed and getting into it. And then when you give feedback to a person around that motivating, exciting goal, the feedback becomes that much more valuable. So one is to have goals and, and as a part of it, very clear, well-formed outcomes. You've got to know when you've achieved your goal. You can't have a goal like, you know, I really want to make it big. Now that's too general. What do you mean by make it big? Financially, spiritually, uh, you know, in what sense? So if you say my goal is to buy a four bedroom mansion in a particular locality by a specific date, now, when you're working towards it, or if you're getting your entire team or organization to work towards, uh, you know, building more wealth, where your company gets rich, and then in the process you get rich, and you get to buy that ma mansion, you can give feedback, because you're looking at your profits. You're looking at how much money your company is making, and the bigger your company becomes, the more money you get into your kitty. So I think that's what I mean by well-formed outcomes. So imagine you're working with an individual. There's a person, who um, is trying to finish work and you give him eight things to do every day. At the end of every day, he finishes four. All right. So now that's a well-formed outcome. You're telling that person, you're giving that person feedback saying, look, you start your day at nine in the morning and at six in the evening, you've just finished half of what you're supposed to do because half of eight is four. There's a very clear outcome. He's got to have finished eight of those tasks and he keeps finishing four. Now you can give feedback of how he can perhaps do one extra task every day. Maybe telling him to take shorter breaks. Maybe telling him, just look at what you're doing and come back to me tomorrow uh, with at least three areas where you think you're wasting time. And this could sort of create the foundation of some good quality feedback of how he can improve his productivity. 
So keep in mind, to make your feedback valuable, meaningful, start with specific goals, clear goals, and well-formed outcomes. That's the only way you'd know whether your feedback has been effective or not.